Hey there, Taurus. Hope you guys' this week has been good to you guys so far. Appreciate you guys so much. I did uh, switch a few of my card decks out to see if we get some different messages for us. So let's see what we're going to get, Taurus. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Taurus. It's for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus. And if you hear noise in the background, they are working outside of my house today. So Taurus. Time out, Taurus, please. Should I stay? Two more. Two more, Taurus. Got Cupid here. Got Fix It. Oh, rumors, of course, of course. <laughs> it's a secret love. All right, so somebody is like going back and forth, figuring out if they should still try to come towards you here. And there's something about somebody having like something about Cupid striking somebody in the butt with an arrow here. Somebody's trying to come back and fix something now. And there's a whole lot of rumors going on. And there's a secret love, a hidden love here. What's the overall energy for Taurus? Ooh, envy. So somebody's envious. So there's a, first off, there's like an energy, like I said, like they're tiptoeing, trying to figure out if they can get back into your energy. But this is an envious person, man. Somebody's pissed off because you have new love coming towards you or already have new love here. But somebody's mad that somebody is looking at you with good eyes and somebody's pissed off because of that. You are a limitless being. You can manifest whatever you desire. So somebody's envious because you've got this abundant mindset that you're able to pull prosperity and just good energy towards you, love, light, like all this good energy you're able to pull towards you. And somebody's jealous of this. Your self-esteem. Somebody here did their best to try to ruin your self-esteem, especially with these rumors here. You possess gifts of the soul that benefit yourself and others. So... This other energy's got low self-esteem. That's why they try to tear yours down here. But somebody was um, trying to use someone else to make you jealous and talking about your past person. And somebody's realizing that that ain't working out. So that's for somebody. You are learning that endings are making room for new things here. This is this rebirth energy or transformation here. Somebody knows that something's over with for good. And somebody tried to stop someone else looking at you with good eyes too. And they're envious because of that as well. We accept that everything happens in divine order for us. So somebody's losing patience because, man, the hate keeps getting stronger and stronger with this person. Like day by day, they see that you are still winning. You're still moving forward. And there's still some love headed your way for some of you. Or you already have love here. So we're trusting our intuition. We're not going to be steered in the wrong direction here. Somebody was trying to get someone to trust these rumors about you, but that's not adding up anymore. The math ain't mathing. So there it is, success and abundance. So you've got success coming out and somebody's mad because you're still getting love, you're still getting money, you're still getting both here for some of you and somebody's mad about that. And this is about surrendering these connections here. We can't control what people are gonna say and do to us, but we can control us by moving away and not feeding into the drama anymore. Man, that's a lot of cards we got here. So somebody is really like, Man, this is like one envious person that's just so mad that just whatever you're around, whatever you're doing, it just like pulls so much goodness towards you. And somebody's hating on that. Taurus, of course they are. Career is on the rise. Yes, it is. Somebody's mad about that. So someone could have tried to start some rumors about your career path and tried to get in the way and cause drama for that as well. And that ain't working. Moving towards your goal. Somebody tried to stop you from going towards your goal, but you're obviously still headed towards your goal. So keep going, Taurus. You got this. And your hope is rising. Your faith is rising. And somebody's mad. And somebody new has still got faith in you because somebody really tried to destroy that and wanted someone to look at you in a bad lighting here. Somebody wanted to illuminate your struggles. But this is about honoring the struggles that we've been through. You know, we're not going to hide what we've been through. We're going to use it to be an inspiration for ourselves and to other people here. So someone really wanted to, like, highlight your struggles, but all it did was make you more strong. And you're like, you you don't hide your struggles. That's just who you are. Taurus. Taurus. Inner strength. During tough times, I have what it takes to remain calm, steady, and strong. And that's why someone's envious, too. They didn't expect for you to have this inner strength, this this determined energy to keep moving forward here. And we've got loyalty. Someone didn't want you to be looked at as, as loyal. Someone didn't want you to receive some kind of loyal offer here. You are a loyal person. You remain supportive and loving, especially when someone is going through difficult times. So somebody was, somebody's still trying to bait how to get back into your energy because someone 
knows that you are this loyal, loving, kind person and somebody is trying to, like they're going back and forth trying to figure out how to get back into your energy here. This could not, this could be more than just love connections. This could be all connections that are around you at this time or ones that you severed here. But man, you got somebody really mad. I keep feeling their energy. They're a, a mean little booger, aren't you? <laughs> Taurus, mean little booger. Taurus, gosh. Work through your fears. Could be done with a Scorpio. Have Scorpio placements in your moon, rising, Venus, or north node here. Somebody doesn't like that you're working through your fears. Oh, well, we're going to continue doing that. We've got new starts coming in. This is career. This is love. So we got a lot of good good energy headed our way, Taurus. I like this. Bring love into the situation. Could be dealing with Aquarius. Have that in your moon, rising, Venus, or north node. So someone wants to bring love into the situation. And somebody's mad that you brought love to yourself, first off. And somebody's mad because... You've got a past person trying to come back and bring some kind of love offer towards you. And there's like new love headed your way for the ones that want love. Take time to breathe out. So somebody's mad the way that you're able to pull your energy out back and just, you know, take time for yourself. Somebody's envious of the fact that you know how to regenerate yourself when you're alone. Somebody's jealous of that. Your hard work is paying off. Yes, it is. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Have that your moon rising, Venus, or North node here. But your hard work is paying off. If somebody's envious of that because they can't stop you. You're moving forward. You're still progressing. So, why should I stay here? Because somebody's tiptoeing, going back and forth, trying to figure out the right way to get back into your energy here. King of Cups. And what I'm also getting off of this is like, there was a lot of rumors and things said about you. So somebody's still looking at you in a good light and somebody's still, you know, someone got in someone's head about you and somebody's still wanting to come towards you. And then obviously you've got a past person here trying to figure out how to manipulate their way back in. Somebody knows that you're more emotionally aware now, that you, you, something about your emotions being reserved as well. Somebody's not used to you. Somebody's used to you overextending yourself and trying to fix a connection and you're not doing that anymore so that's why this past energy is like tiptoeing and going back and forth tell me more somebody sees you in this independent energy someone sees how everything around you flourishes very high vibing energy that you have somebody knows that um you're still single and somebody is so there was like a new energy where someone was steered the wrong way about you and this person is still looking at you has a has an option here as a choice Someone wants to put in a lot of work with you and somebody sees all the hard work that you've been doing on yourself. So this past energy knows that you've done leveled up. You've bossed up in your career. You've bossed up in your, you know, your self-love journey here, your growth. And somebody is trying to come back and put the work in with you from the past. And then there's like a new person here that looks at you with good eyes too. I keep getting that. So someone here is trying to come towards you with some kind of, um, Manipulation, someone is trying to figure out how they can, you know, finesse and create a, you know, illusion trying to get back into your energy here. But somebody, and then there's like, I keep getting like a new energy that is realizing that what was said about you is a bunch of, you know, bull crap. So there's something being illuminated and there's something here about the past person realizing that you see through their bull crap. And that's why this past energy is tiptoeing. And like I said, this could be more than just a love connection here, but this person that you were in some kind of connection with, they know that you see through them. So something here about the past, there could be children involved. There's something here about past life connections. There's something here about this past energy, knowing that you, um, you're not on the same wavelength as the past energy. That's why they're also tiptoeing back and trying to tiptoe. They're like going back and forth. They don't know what, how to approach you. This is someone that's very cold and detached and somebody sees that you're mirroring that energy back to them. And this person from your past is trying to figure out how to have a, a communicate. They want to talk to you, but they know that you're not going to fall for something. And there's something about a new person here that is wanting to speak to you as well. So tell me about this Cupid energy. Somebody looks at you with a good lighting here. Somebody has feelings for you. Bring that back out. Cupid. Bring that back out. Cupid. Why is that here? Somebody wants to come rushing towards you. So this is like somebody that's getting ready to make a move towards you. And somebody's pissed off that someone couldn't steer someone else away from you. Someone was trying to make someone to, like move away. And this is like your past person. They're pissed off because, you know, they obviously take off. They don't take accountability. And then they try to resurface back in your life. And then they're looking back into your new life where you're at now. And they're like, they don't know how to approach you because you're, you're not the same. 
So, man, you could a, a person, it could be an air sign wanting to come towards you here, but this person is ready to come in here and speak some kind of truth to you. Tell me more. Tell me more, Cupid. Somebody's been waiting. Somebody's been really observing you. So, this is, I'm picking up on somebody that posts things in the spotlight here. Or, you know, has some kind of social media. But somebody here has been watching you at a crossroads. This person could be at a distance from you. But this person is wanting to come down the path that you are on. And they've been really observing you. It's like this. Somebody has talked a bunch of crap about you. And somebody is realizing that it was rumors. And someone is still wanting to come towards you. Yeah, illusions, confusions. Some of you guys may have more than one person interested in you. But somebody is seeing through all the, the lies and the gossip. Somebody is really trying to figure out how to communicate with you here. This is someone that looks at you with, in a passionate lighting. Somebody views you very passionate. And there's some kind of good news coming in. See, there's somebody here that looks at you as marriage material. Somebody is trying to figure out how to approach you. Because somebody sees you very determined, focused on your finances. Like, you're just forward movement here. Somebody is looking at you differently because somebody tried to keep somebody stuck in like illusions about you, but somebody is like realizing that something was just rumors about you. So somebody is stressed out though. Somebody is still trying to figure out. It's like someone got in someone's head about you and somebody is like going back and forth trying to figure out the right ways to approach you because I feel like your past energy, like past people, like especially love interest, someone really tried to like stop something from happening someone wanted a new person to be so mentally conflicted about you but somebody is still looking at you with passionate eyes someone's still ready to come in here and like you know they're, they're they look at you passionately they're trying to come in here for you so how about fix it and then of course you've got some energies trying to fix it what's this about somebody sees your changes somebody sees your destiny your abundance somebody definitely knows you've got love coming towards you so somebody's trying to come towards you and tell you that they have changed. So somebody is really trying to figure out how to get into your life now because they see this this wheel of fortune turning in your favor and they want to get on that wheel and turn it with you. But you're the one doing all the work here, so keep that in mind. I'll tell me more about fix it. See, someone's trying to come back and, ma and manipulate. This is an energy that was clearly part of a, these uh, rumors and this gossip about you. Somebody sees your manifestations coming in and they want to fix something here with you. For side note for someone here like this new energy that I'm picking up on they they see that you are not who people were saying like talking bad about you they see that that's not who you are and this person's wanting to try to come in here and fix something as well they see you on your path to your purpose so that's for someone not everybody so something here is definitely being illuminated somebody definitely sees how beautiful your life is taking off that's why they're wanting to fix it and this is clearly about you seeing things for what it is with past energies trying to come back and fix something with you if you choose to talk to them if you're like me i ain't talking to them <laughs> it ain't happening six of cups there could be children involved past life connections i keep getting somebody here is trying to you know really focus on past things to try to fix something they're trying to like get you nostalgic and reminiscing on things here this past energy is still operating in the same energy that they were in when you guys had a disconnect here. And for some of you, it's more than one connection trying to get back into your energy. So someone wants to have a conversation. This is a very cold and detached person. This is someone that is trying to figure out the right words to have some kind of, you know, talk to try to fix something here. But this person knows that you're definitely, you know, being more logical. You're not letting people pull on your empathy anymore. But someone's trying to hold something back here. Somebody is trying to hold on to you. This is an energy that tried to hold something back for you. And now that you're holding back, they're trying to come in here and hold on to you. Something here about your wish fulfillment. Someone sees that you've been pouring into yourself. Like you're something about your energy is not like others too. Someone knows that you're rare, hard to come by. That's why they're trying to fix something. And somebody definitely sees that you've got some kind of beautiful wish fulfillments coming in your manifestations there's something here that someone's really focused on and it has to do with how your life is turning out for the good here so and i keep getting there's a new energy here that wants to try to come in here and fix something after all the bull crap has been said about you somebody still looks at you with good eyes i keep getting that as well tell me about rumors here why is this here rumors so there's a lot of rumors they talking smack 
something is being illuminated. Something you may already know that these rumors have been said. If you're like me, you know some things and you're not going to, you know, feed into that drama like you could care less. That's how I am. So, and somebody's realizing that something was just rumors, like this new energy here brought a lot of attention your way. So it's almost like these rumors almost like elevated your manifestations. There's something here about your success being uplifted because of these rumors. So it's almost like these rumors were flipped into your favor and made you more victorious. And this is also about you keeping your head held high and moving away from these rumors and not feeding into these rumors. A lot of chicken heads talking about you. You know, what's funny about these rumored people is like they all talk about themselves behind each other's back is what cracks me up. But, you know, it is what it is. Someone was trying to talk rumors about your success and what you're doing with your life here. Someone really wanted to, like, create drama for you. Illusions, confusions, and other people trying to, you know, join up and try to create more rumors about you. So, you know, you, you brought a bunch of people together. So, you're welcome. <laughs> Illusions, confusions, something about you being an illusion maker or just entertaining other options. Because someone really tried to get in someone's head about you, a new person here. Somebody's seeing that this was just a bunch of bullcrap here. Something here about good news and something about ego-driven people trying to create rumors for you. Someone said that you were childish, that you were hot-tempered, that you... I don't know. There's something here about you just having reckless energy, and that's not what it is. So there's some kind of rumors about when you were in a connection with a past person, someone tried to really say a lot of rumors about how you showed up in this connection. Someone could have said that you're materialistic, power-hungry, like stubborn, won't change. Like, man, there was a lot of nasty things said about you. Oh, somebody is interested in you, and someone tried to create rumors. So something here about your awakening, someone tried to say that you weren't, like what you are all about these days like that's not what's going on because someone really tried to shift your per their perspective about you and someone tried to really downplay what you're doing with your life like that ain't like no we we are who we say we are and someone tried to say that you weren't that so a lot of stress worry anxiety someone said could have said that you have like I don't know, like mental issues someone really tried to say that you weren't all there Taurus <laughs> you gotta laugh at it <laughs> somebody is now really thinking like you got somebody in their head thinking about you I keep getting like a new person here that's like really like observing you like someone has been really carefully observing you making like just wanting to know if these rumors are, are true or not they're not they're rumors that's why it came out as rumors tell out secret love to a cup somebody wants union with you somebody could um had said that even if you were in a relationship that you entertain third parties, so that's a side note for someone. But man, somebody looks at you and wants a relationship with you. Somebody's got some kind of hidden love about you and they haven't spoke on it yet. Tell me more. Justice. There's something here about the scales balancing back out. So some kind of uh, better unions. This could be better connections in all areas of your life it don't have to be love here but i am definitely picking up on somebody here that just has they look at you with love and this is part of your good karma look at that ten of pentacles wow so somebody here just views you as marriage material like this is someone that's got their stuff together and this is like two people coming together and like really making some things happen with their finances here wow so somebody's got their stuff together and they're looking at you with good eyes. So that's another reason why someone's envious here because they didn't want you to have this. The moon. This is definitely feelings that have not been expressed yet. This is someone that has been harboring their feelings for you because of these rumors that were said about you. Because someone is like, there's like a lot of fears and, and like something here about this person being fear, like fearing this connection. It's because of these rumors here. So someone here is like definitely wanting to speak up on something here. Somebody's worried about something ending and someone tried to end some kind of connection for you. Someone may need to end something else in order to come towards you with this new energy here. That's for someone. Tens are about completions here. So you're coming to an end of a completion and somebody's burdened wanting to come in here and, and speak how they feel to you. 
someone's ready to just lay down all the baggage and what was said and like someone looks at you as like confident powerful you know attractive headstrong like leader someone really looks at you with a lot of good eyes like admiring eye, admiring is that a word admiring eyes so this is like a wish fulfillment for somebody here somebody clearly sees you pouring into yourself and for some of you the ones that are posting things in the spotlight you've got more than one person attracted to you i keep getting that too but there's definitely a certain person here that just looks at you as a wish fulfillment this person wants you all right Got Cancer, Pisces, Water, Earth, Earth, Air, Fire, Fixed Energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Leo, Fire, Water, Libra, and Earth here. So we got a secret love here. Someone wants to choose you. Someone looks at you with good eyes and someone chooses you. You're the Divine Feminine. You're attracting all these beautiful things towards you. You're not chasing, you're attracting right now. Beautiful. Even if you're a male, we all have feminine and masculine energy. You're clearly attracting things towards you. And if you're a male watching, you could have somebody in sight right now. Someone once looks at you as on a pedestal. They admire you. And somebody's pissed off because of this. Somebody thinks, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody thinks that you just get everything handed to you, Taurus. Ooh, somebody is jealous. Somebody just thinks that, I don't know, somebody is just really hating on you because you are looked at in a good lighting here. There's arguments going on. Somebody didn't want you to have a happy ever after. And somebody's pissed off that your happy ever after is still coming towards you. Whether you choose to stay single and just be on your own. Or you choose to entertain someone new here. But somebody's pissed off that you're still getting a happy ever after. <laughs> you gotta laugh at people, man. Taurus. Taurus. You're a queen bee. You're a natural leader. You stand out from the rest. And you definitely rule someone's heart here. And somebody's mad because of this jealous this is a past energy and it could be more than one connection around you don't even have to be a love interest here a lot of you it is but it could be jealous family members friends that didn't want you to have something here so someone's jealous and hating on you because you're moving forward someone doesn't want to share you well of course not our energy is amazing of course not so someone tried to really get in someone's head about you and influence other people to look at you in a bad lighting so this is someone that gathered a bunch of flying monkeys around them and they all you know went in on the the same storyline together someone in this new energy listened to someone else's opinions about you as well and somebody's realizing that they were just rumors so there's some kind of shocking revelations coming in for you this has to do with love and finances here Somebody's got some obsession with you. And you definitely have past energies that got some unhealthy obsession with you. Someone wanted to really talk about your codependency. Or they re they really was hoping that you were going to be codependent on these past connections. And you clearly are not. Someone wanted to really focus on your addictions and your poor habits. But that's not who we are any anymore. That's why we're able to attract so such good things towards us. Because we've been raising our vibration. And we've been... Letting go of things that don't line up with us anymore. And someone really wanted to focus on that still. So you're networking. You've got better things coming in. Meeting new people. Somebody's jealous about that. So this is like meeting better people in your career field and your love department. And other connections as well. This is like calling your soul tribe in. And there it is. Your energy is rare. So you're a unicorn. You're one of a kind. And people like you are you're irreplaceable. That's why you've got past energies trying to get back in. Somebody feels like... Somebody feels like they are like they can break rules, like rules don't apply to them. And this is someone that clearly tried to do this in your life, but it didn't work. But this is also about you breaking out of the box and not, you know, staying in a box that people want to keep you in. Someone wanted to say that you entertain non-traditional relationships and you're not doing that. Somebody is, your past person, they are the ones entertaining these non-traditional relationships. But they wanted to paint you out as like that. Manifestations are coming in. Uh-huh. Manifesting your dreams, your power is activated, and everything is flowing to you easily. That's another reason somebody's mad at you. Angry little booger, aren't you? <laughs> Worth the fight. Somebody wants to come in here and fight for you still. This is obviously a new person. And then you've got past energies trying to come back in here and fight for you still. But these are energies. Your past energies are wanting only to get back into your life because your life is getting ready to take off. So, And you've got, like I said, a new person wanting to fight for you now. So there's the ancestors coming in here and cleaning up everything after, you know, the lies, the slander, things that were trying to take you out, didn't take you out. 
So there's something here about getting rid of distractions. So this is about letting people leave, and this is about clearly walking away from people that are no longer lining up with who you are. This is about making better choices in all areas of your life as well. And we've got karmic relationships that you've cut ties with, yes. So you've paid into some kind of karmic debt, and these past energies trying to come back, they're not for you anymore because you've elevated. And this is why you've got this abundance coming in, a prosperous life, unexpected windfalls, and this is all because you know your worth and your value, and you're attracting what you what you believe is what you what you are, what you get. So this is about believing that you, you know, that you are worthy. Of, we're worthy of anything that we want for ourselves. It's all about our mindset. We've got to tell us that we can have it, and it's ours. So you are the one that limits yourself. So always remember that. Someone wanted to create all this drama in your life, but now the situation's out of control, and there's. Definitely an unpredictable situation coming in because you're still getting everything that you want here and somebody's hating on you because of that. So someone tried to steer a new person away from you and wanted to say that there's someone better out there. And this is clearly about exploring your options for the one that want new love and, you know, moving away from these past connections and figuring out what you want in all areas of in life of your connections, friends, family, love connection. This is about really sitting with self and realizing what I want and what I don't want. And it's also about working on yourself so you can be the best version to show up in connections for others. So Taurus. Okay. Some of you guys could be going on vacation. Somebody wants to take you on vacation. Man, somebody really wants to like, somebody really looks at you with good eyes, man. Someone wants to take you on a trip. And then someone here is, um, knows that their time is up there's no more chances you can't trust the past person they've hurt you lesson learned it's time to move forward and that's why this person's pissed off too because you're not letting them hurt you anymore reading between the lines about this drama so yeah somebody here is clearly reading uh, the lines through the lines about some kind of drama that was like these rumors and this gossip that was you know trying to get someone to look at you in bad lighting somebody is realizing that it was just a bunch of drama jealous people trying to interfere with your life in all areas, finances and love. Somebody was really trying to like mess with your life. And just reading between the lines and seeing something for what it is, even new connections coming towards us, make sure that you're reading between the lines with anyone because you don't want to have to go back into another cycle of going through drama and you know more karmic debt that you've already cleared out. You're ready to move forward now. So don't repeat a lesson. Tell me more. Someone wants access to you, so... Somebody wants to come in and have access to you. This is like a new energy and an obviously a past energy wanting to come in here and have access. Uh, you're being advised to take things slow. Don't rush into connections. Take your time. Get to know people. Make sure they are for you. Someone knows that your heart's locked down. Somebody's trying to get you to open your heart back open to them here. Some of you guys are just not open for love. Some of you guys are just interested in finances and things. As, so... Romantic date. Somebody wants to take you out on a date. Some of you guys could already be going out on a date here, but somebody really looks at you with good eyes. Somebody wants to take you on a date. And then obviously the past energy is going to try to tiptoe back in and take you out as well, Taurus. Somebody is really looking at you, yearning for you. Someone's looking at your pictures, thinking about you. So if you find yourself thinking about certain people from your past, it's because they're thinking about you. And for my ones posting things in the spotlight, you definitely have a new person here that is looking at you, and they are just... They're they passionate about you. Just let me say that. Someone's a show-off. Someone tried to say that you were a show-off. So someone's mad that because someone tried to paint you in this bad lighting like you were a show-off, you like attention, but that's who they are. So it's like this past energy, they just got the spotlight put back on them because they're the show-offs. Someone's already involved. Someone wanted to say that you already had someone else. So the past energy tried to say that you are enter were already entertaining someone else and... This is also about past energies trying to come back, about, you know, not falling back into these connections where people want to entertain third parties. So we're not we're not entertaining that. And someone's trying to come in here and chase you now. This is past energy and then clearly a new person wanting to come towards you. And there's those eyes watching you. Mm-hmm. A lot of eyes watching you. Your past people could be driving past your house, but someone is clearly watching you and trying to figure out what you got going on here. Somebody's mad that you never gave up on yourself and somebody's trying to figure out how to get back in your energy because they don't want to give up. And someone wanted you to give up on who you are and what you do here. Taurus. Sweet talk. Somebody's trying to come in here with some kind of sweet talk now. Tell me more. Round and round. We're closing out the cycles. We've learned everything that we need to from these past energies. Closing out the cycle. 
If you go back with these past energies, you're just going to complete the same cycle that you've already finished. And someone is definitely watching you from secret accounts. Tell me more. Somebody is having some kind of firestorm, karma, drama, endings, loss, mental breakdown, because that's what they wanted for you. So these past energies are in some kind of firestorm for trying to come for you, so I wouldn't take them back. Somebody's mad because you continue healing. You're meditating, you're, you're grounding yourself, and you have faith in yourself. And some, you got a past energy that's praying that you're going to take them back, and then you've got a new energy here that's really like still wanting this. Someone's got a sex addiction. Someone said that you have a sex addiction. Someone's trying to come back towards you with some kind of sexual energy here. Tell me more. Somebody's got some secrets. So somebody could be trying to sleep with you to like, I don't know, to like create some kind of like drama. Somebody could be trying to like record you or something. That's for someone. Okay, that's different. So someone here is trying to come back towards you with this off and on energy, cold and detached. And someone tried to paint you up in this lighting here. And somebody is still sleeping with someone else in secret. So clearly, tell me more. Somebody here wants you to be bumping heads with them and you're not. Somebody could be arguing with someone else and trying to come back towards you. And somebody clearly wanted a new person to be bumping heads with you as well. Somebody's mirroring you. Someone could be doing some kind of mirror magic on you. But some of this past energy, they're trying to get back into your life and they're going to mirror your beautiful energy. You hold a mirror up to people and you trigger people. Oh, how'd that get there? Forever yours. So someone here just feels like there's some kind of unbreakable bond with you. So a love to last a, life, a lifetime. And somebody didn't want this for you? Somebody's losing sleep. They're replaying things over in their head because something is being aired out. Those rumors are. So we've got a somebody could work in the with somebody could work for be a police officer, work in some kind of government here. Some of you guys may have got restraining orders here on someone from your past here, but there's definitely eyes on you. Somebody's realizing that something that you're not reckless, like someone had to paint you out has. Somebody here is now, somebody's love life is going to crap because they wanted to try to, you know, they're, they're still reckless and they wanted you to be reckless, but you're not. And now somebody's effed up over this. This is, could even be a new person that's effed up over you because they're realizing that it was rumors being said about you. And somebody is not happy that something is not like somebody, the past is messed up because it's not working out what they were trying to do. They're, they're effed up over this. Somebody's got a drinking toxic lifestyle and somebody th said that you had this toxic lifestyle and that's not who you are. This past person or past connections in, in your life, they are still entertaining this toxic lifestyle. Someone wanted you to be secluded. Someone wanted you to be really isolated and feeling lonely and you're none of those things. So you started reflecting and soul searching and that's another reason why somebody's envious because you still leveled up. You still move towards the goal and everything's still coming for you. Taurus, Taurus, you are feeling somewhat confused by the events that are unfolding around you and the various seemingly contradictory information that is coming your way. Trust your instincts and do what they are telling you to do and you will learn a lot about yourself and the direction you want to take in your life. So when things start falling apart in our life, when, you know, sometimes it can get a little, you know, it's like, especially because we're Tauruses, we don't like change. So we've got to just pr trust that process here, but... There's something here about some kind of information coming your way, so just make sure you're using your discernment here. Learn to ride the waves of life. When faced with difficult times, you can either flight, fight against the current or go with it. So ask yourself what is, so, what is to be gained by depleting your energy and fighting against it. Don't do that to yourself. So this is about riding that beautiful wave and just trusting the process and just knowing that everything is still working out in your favor here. But, man, you've got some very envious past energies that are trying to tiptoe back into your life. And like I said, there's still a new person here that looks at you with good eyes. So, all right, beautiful Taurus, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on uh, Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you guys so much. Light and love to you. See you Sunday.